I'm living in this moment because of you. And I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Your grace, Your grace and mercy, Your grace and mercy. To go out and tell the world, tell a dying world, salvation is free. There have been times when I, I would not do right, but you. You see, justice, justice demanded that I should die. But grace and mercy said, oh no, oh no, we've already paid the price. You see, I Cause grace and mercy, grace and mercy, grace and mercy came along and reached way, 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 way down and rescued me. Your grace and mercy. Wake up, wake up, America. Wake up, wake up, world. It is time for your favorite radio program. 
Chatting from the Word with your host in the morning with your host, Brother Oscar York. Amen, amen. On the free platform where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting and putting and putting a step in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we are so glad, so, 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 so glad to do it. Wake up, wake up, my friends. Wake up, wake up, America. Wake up, wake up, world. Do you have your ears on this morning? Hear our roosters crowing. Amen. And, uh, a, a, man. God Grace and mercy brought us through. God, grace and mercy woke us up this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing all of us on this side of heaven to see another wonderful, uh, wonderful day. It was the psalmist who says in Psalm 118, division, verse 24, This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be uh, glad in it. I don't know about you this morning, my friends, but I am going to rejoice and I am going to be <laughs> glad in it. But I feel just so blessed and so happy to be with you on this uh, fine, fine Monday morning. And we hope that you all got a chance to go to worship on yesterday, giving God all his praise and, and glory and honor for being so wonderful to us all this week. And we hope and pray that this week itself goes just as planned. But sometimes, sometimes you got to move with the curves. <laughs> Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You got to move and just, you know, make everything fit sometime. But the Lord has blessed us with another wonderful, wonderful morning. Amen. Amen. Now, my friends, do you have your ears on? Are you ready to hear another episode of Chatting from the Word? Are you? We hope that you are. We hope that we have a uh, peak. <laughs> Peak, well, I forgot what you're talking about. Peak your curiosity this morning. Uh, to listen this morning to us here at Chatting uh, from uh, the Word. Amen, amen. And this is episode, what, uh, three, I believe, 366. Amen. That the Lord has blessed us to reach. Oh, thank you, Lord. Praise, praise him. Praise him. For us to reach episode 366. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, all over the place this morning. And you all that's listening, we thank you all as well for listening to Brother Oscar so long. You all that especially been here in the beginning of our program, you know the, the, the twists and turns of the... <laughs> you know, mistakes we made in the beginning, but we're here, and you stuck with us all the way. And we want to thank you this morning. Amen. And uh, a amen. So thank you, my friends, for being here with us just that long. Amen. And a Amen. I am so, again, so glad that you're listening in on us this morning. Amen. And amen. And if this be your first time listening in, if this be your very first time, don't allow it to be your last time. Come back. Come back and hear us and listen to us. Once again, here at Chatting from the Word, and we are so glad that you're listening in, and if you love what you're listening to, tell your friends about us. Tell your kin folks. <laughs> Do anybody see kin folks nowadays? <laughs> tell your kin about us. Tell those that you're on Facebook about us here at Chatting from the Word. My friends, do you love what we do here on Chatting from the Word? Are you being uplifted? Are you being inspired to live for the Lord even much more? Are we putting that special mm, <laughs> in 
Mm, what is that, brother? Oh, we put that special, you know, snap <laughs> in your Christian walk on this morning. And if we are, if we are, help us out financially. We do need your financial help. And if we didn't need it, we would ask for it. So if you can give whatever amount you can give to help us out here in Chatting from the Word, it would be appreciated. We do have an account on the PayPal web page at pullupaypal.com and put in my email address, which is more case, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com, or you can go to Zell and do the same thing. Put in my email address, which is Lord Case, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. Amen and amen. We here in Amherstburg, Dayton, Ohio area, we are doing fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> and we are doing great. We're doing all right here in Dayton, Ohio. We really are. And we hope that you're doing fabulous where you are as well. The other people says that it is, oh, my God, it is, what is it? <laughs> but after, read the weather report. That's all you need to do. Just read it, but after. The weather report is 35 degrees, mostly clear. The skies now, the skies would be partly cloudy. And a low would be 34, near freezing. And it's going to feel like it's 30 degrees. Wind out is 6 miles per hour. Visibility is 6.8 miles. Humidity at 92%. Dew point is at 32 degrees. And pressure is at 29.83 inches. Amen and amen. Now, you know what Brother Oscar always says. There's uh, uh, what's going on on the outside. It can be snowing heavy. It can be raining cats and dogs. It can be 50 feet of snow at my door. But my friends, as long as I have the Lord on the inside, I'm all right because I have 70 days 24-7 because I have the S-O-N, the Son of God. Amen. 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 And my friends, since you have your ears on, you listen to Brother Oscar York here this morning, I know you have him as well. Amen. And, uh, a hey, amen. Now, for our summary for the show, of course, you just heard our introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Harold Robinson. And then, of course, during our prayer time, we will play our prayer anthems, our prayer, sung by Radiance acapella and the song that's going to be for the before the message and after prayer time would be build your kingdom sung by reading harmony and then the message our reasonable service our reasonable service of course taken from romans uh 12 1 through uh, 21, and I believe our connectors, and I might change that when we get to that part of the program, it will be 2 Timothy 2.15, 1 Corinthians 12.28, James 1, 1 through 4, Ephesians 4, 11 through 16, Titus 1, 1 through 4, Acts 6, 1 through 5, and 1 Timothy 3, 1 through 7. And, uh, wait a minute here, y'all. Our tags, if you want to know our tags or keywords, would be Christ, our reasonable service, leader, ministries, work, study, devout, desire, experience, family, and love. And our thought on this uh, uh, lesson today would be ministries in the body of Christ is important. When we come to Christ, we are broken down and need of repair or fixing. The ministries are there to teach, to help to govern, to guide, and to lead us. And amen. And that's what the ministries are for in the body of Christ, to equip us, to live more for the Lord, and to be closer and closer to him. That's why we say in our lesson that we that church needs ministries. Without a, the ministries, the church will not be the church. So, my friends, when we get to that part of the program, have your Bibles out so that you can study along with us on this fine, fine lesson. Amen and amen. 
my friends, my friends, get on board, get on board, hop on board this train and take uh, this right. Amen and amen. Our leader, our trusted, faithful leader is Jesus Christ. And he knows how to drive this train uh, very well. He is a smooth operator. He knows the train. He knows the tracks. He knows the route. So we can put our faith in him. So and just get on board. Get on board this train and ride and ride and ride. Now, my friends, if you get on board this train at home, go ahead on and stretch out in your reclining chair. Uh, just go ahead on and uh, uh, stretch out on your couch or on your floor while you're listening to your brother here, Brother Dr. York. Now, if you're driving, try to get to point A to point B. Keep your eyes on the road, but at the same time, keep on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you are in the gym, try to get the muscles all peeled up and that scrub lower stomach. Keep on exercising. Uh, put your earbuds on while you're listening to us here at Chatting from the Word. Amen, amen. So, my friends, get on board, get on board, all passengers, calling for all passengers, get on board this train and ride.
Amen and amen. Now that was Sweet Hour of Prayer, sung by Radiance Acapella. And this is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for your own chatting from the Word, just email it to me. My email address, once again, is for case Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, or you can put it on our messenger page. Or you can put it on our page that dedicates to the program on Facebook, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar York slash Oscar York Publishing dot com. Or you can put it on our web page, Oscar York Publishing dot com. Or you might be able to do it at this time if you're listening to us live. Uh, we hope that you are. We hope that you have your ears on and that you are listening to us live. I usually turn to Facebook and I didn't do it today, so <laughs> I do apologize. But but we are live. We are on live and if you want to hear the program, you can either go to our page, Chatting from the Word, and just click on that Bible and uh, it would direct you to the speaker page and you can listen to the program live all right you can listen to us live as we are broadcasting it now amen and amen all right all right where are we where are we of course this is our prayer time and we uh we have a couple of sad news to uh pass to you on this morning um I believe yesterday morning, uh, Sunday morning, we heard the passing, about the passing of our sister-in-law, uh, Ruby Murray. Ruby Murray. Uh, she had been sick for quite some time, and we've been praying for her for quite some time. Of course, my connection with them is the fact that, of course, she's my sister-in-law, uh, married to my law who was the brother of my late wife, uh, Joyce M. Murray, York. So we just want to uh, keep that family in our prayers and uh, be because we hear at, at chatting from the word. We 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 know we know, don't we? When a loved one passes, how empty it do leave our home. So we uh, want to pray for the the children, uh, for the sisters and brothers, the husband, and uh, all that. Uh, other family, so keep us in your prayers, please. I do that. Keep us in uh, your prayers, and of course, uh, we've been we're gonna pray for not only the Murray family, but all those that have lost loved ones uh, during this time. And of course, we're gonna pray for the condition of the world, and we're going to pray for this pandemic. Uh, that's what I'm talking about <laughs> the condition of the world, and of course, we're going to. Pray for those that have contracted the uh, coronavirus uh, and for everything else we've been praying for. I'll leave it short like that. Everything else we've been praying for because uh, this world needs praying for. And we as Christians who have a daily prayer life with God, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. I know I do. I talk to my father every day. and. 50 times a day sometimes. I'm bugging them. <laughs> I really am. I'm serious. I, I be uh, sitting up, uh, talking to them, laying down, talking to them. Uh, I talk. I talk with the father. And, and I just say, Father, be with me. Be with me. I say, Your son, he got a headache. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> so uh, I'm just letting you know what we're going to ask you. That's my prayer life. And I, I, I talk with you, man. I talk with the father. 
constantly in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The uh, scripture text we're going to use before we approach the throne of grace would be 1 Timothy 2. And if you have a copy of God's word, you can turn with us to 1 Timothy 2. And here, the apostle of Paul penned these words. He says, I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Amen. And amen. We approach the throne of grace with new grace. Our Father, our mighty, mighty God. Oh, Father, we thank you, Father, for the privilege of calling you our Father. We thank you, Father, for the privilege of talking with you. Because sometimes, Father, we just need to have a little talk with you to allow you to know what's on our minds and hearts, to talk with you. And to let you know, Father, that we need you every day, every minute, and every second of the day. Father, we come to thanksgiving our hearts, thanking you, Father, for this day. Thank you, Father, for your precious gift of Jesus Christ. Allowing him to come down this cruel world. Show us how to love by dying on the cross. Becoming sin for us. Taking our sins upon him. So that we all may have a chance at eternal life. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father, we come praying at this time with heavy hearts. Want to pray for the families because of their loss of Sister Mary. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Put your loving arm around them. Allow them to know things just don't happen. They happen for a reason, for a purpose. And there is a message behind each one. All we pray that they look up to you from which come at their help. They look up to you for comfort. Because Jesus said, blessed are them that moon. But they shall be confident. So, Father, comfort them during that morning period. Comfort them. And, Father, we pray for all those others that uh, have lost loved ones. We pray, Father, that you do the same for them. Comfort them through that morning. Comfort them through their loss. Allow them to know that they can lean on you on every side. Father, we come praying at this time for the condition of this world in which we live. Father, we pray for this pandemic. We pray, Father, that, you know, it'll be over soon. But regardless, Father, help us through this pandemic to keep our trust and faith in you and keep our hands in your unchanging hands. And Father, we come praying for those that have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you comfort them, heal their bodies, allow the doctors to minister the right medicine so that their bodies may be whole once again. And Father, we come praying for those that have lost loved ones to this coronavirus at this time. Father, we pray that you also comfort them during their morning period as well. Father, put your loving arms around them so they may recognize that there's a message in the storm. That there's a message in the whisper. That there's a message when 
quietness ranks. That's a message. And for all we come in for those who who have lost their loved ones to the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you also comfort them. Put your loving arms around them as well. And Father, we come praying for the police who feel as though that they must use force to get control. We pray, Father, that they may learn a better way how to police and how to protect and defend. And for all we come praying for the, our political leaders at this, at this time, for all we are uh, so in just a need, a good leader, a good president, vice president, good cabinet. And we hope and pray that it's the next man, next woman, next people that's in the White House that will govern this land as it should be governed, and that's in you. And know we have it on our dollar bill, Father, in Jesus' name, that we trust in you. And we hope that we can trust this new ministry to do what's right and to help us live in peace and in harmony. Father, we come praying for the church at this time. Father, we pray that through this pandemic that you help us remain the church. Help us to continue on standing on your principle, which is Christ, being the foundation. And for all of we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them. Father, help them through the things that they are struggling with, through the mountains that they must climb up or go through, through the storm that they must weather. Father, be with them, all of our listeners. And for I'll be with the program this morning, chatting from the Word. Help us for to be a light in each community that we're heard in. Father, help us to, to to lead the way and to sign the light on Jesus Christ and lift him up as high as high as we can. And Father, we pray that to be with our message, our reasonable service. Father, help me that I may say something to call someone to think about their salvation. They call someone to get better and to live better and to know you better. And Father, we come praying for those that we've been praying for all this time. We pray, Father, that you be with the missionaries out in the field to try to make a difference. That's trying to make a difference. Father, we pray for those that's having problems in homes and with children and grandchildren. Father, we pray for them. And Father, we pray for you. Myself also help me through the things that I'm struggling with at this time. Help my faith. Help my faith, Father, to blossom for you and to, to depend totally on you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, do I pray. Amen. And uh, a, a man. All right, all right, all right. As always, we want to thank you for praying along with us on that prayer. And uh, we hope and pray that we prayed for something that was on your mind. Amen, amen, amen. We are back. <laughs> and we hope that you still have the ears on. We are back. And we're glad to be with you. We're glad that you still have your ears on and you listen to us here at Chatting uh, from the Word. Amen. And uh, a, amen. All right. We are 
At this time, we're going to ask the donation for the second time. If you can help us out here at Chatting from the Word, we will appreciate that very, very much. We do have a account on PayPal.com. Just pull up the PayPal web and put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle and do the same. Put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. And any amount you desire to put in will be appreciated. And we thank you in advance for your donation. Amen and amen. And now for the announcement. Now, I haven't, I haven't seen none come in yet, and I don't know why. And, and that's fine, that's fine. But as I've been saying quite some time, if you have any announcements, that you want Brother Oscar to to do here or to from the word, just send it to my email address. If you're having something in your community that you want our, our audience to be aware of, uh, just send it to my email address and we will announce that event. Or if you're having something that's going on at your congregation and if you want our audience to know about it, email it to me. And we will announce that engagement. Of course, our email address again is well, case Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Don't forget it. <laughs> Don't forget it. <laughs> we said so much here on the air. And I've said so much this morning. How can we forget? Uh, lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And most of y'all can sing it. Oh, York! <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, cut it out, cut it out, Bill Oscar. <laughs> we will. And if you have an anniversary, if you have an anniversary that we, uh, that you want us to announce here on Chatting from the Word, again, email it to me and we will announce your anniversary, especially a wedding anniversary, just a blessing if you've been married sometime when, when you know, marriage is not hanging in there anymore like they once did. And uh, we, we, we pray that uh, your marriage is strong. And I believe, this is me, and, and I, I'm, I'm very sure I'm correct on it, but the best antidote for a happy marriage is love and Jesus Christ. Love and Jesus Christ. Not in that order, maybe Jesus Christ and love. You love one another. Y'all two love Christ. And uh, you have a relationship with him and, of course, your children as well. Amen and amen. And if it's your birthday, we would love to announce your birthday when it comes. Just email it to me and we will announce your birthday. And if you're having a birthday today, happy birthday to you. Yay! Happy birthday, happy Happy birthday! It is your day, your day, all day. Don't let nobody else tell you nothing else. Enjoy your day because it is your day. The Lord has blessed you with another year. Amen. And uh, a amen, my friends. Now I know you have your ears on because Brother Oscar shared the show with you at the. Broadcast it or tape it. So, when you get the program, when we share the program with you, share it with your friends on Facebook. Share it with your friends on LinkedIn. Share it with your friends on Instagram or whatever networks that you use. Share, share, share. Let them know that we're on Chatting from the Word in the morning. Spread the news, spread the news. Spread the news, but not only spread the news, but like us here on Channel the Word. We would appreciate that very, very much if you would like us and let us know what kind of job that we are doing. And if you're enjoying the program, let us know that too. We appreciate that as well. And like I say, like us, like us, and let us know that you appreciate the program. But what we want to do as well is be part of our family. Follow us here on the speaker. Follow, follow us. Be the next follower of us so that when we are, are programming, they will contact you and let you know when we are programming or broadcasting the program. And then we are heard on Facebook and we are heard on YouTube. 
And if you're listening to us through YouTube, through YouTube, subscribe to us. Subscribe to us and tap the bell so that you can be notified each time that we are on the air. And we hope that you do that. Go ahead and do that. Subscribe to us on on YouTube and join us or follow us here on uh, Spreaker dot com Spreaker Podcast dot com and we hope that you will do that just that and my friends if you want to contact me you're welcome to do that of course my email address is for case Oscar York three four four three at gmail dot com on the uh, or we do have a, a page on Facebook that you can contact us on as well. Of course, the uh, name of the page on Facebook is Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar, so that's OscarYorkPublishing.com. Or you can go to our webpage, OscarYorkPublishing.com. But while you're there, while you're on our webpage, we do have a bookstore. Your brother here has authored two books. My first book, which is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, will sell for twenty one fifty, and Bridges of Friendships, which also sell for twenty one fifty. And if you want to press both books, both books are forty three dollars. And we hope that you do it today. So go visit Oscar York publishing.com and order you a book and read. Now, you know the proceeds will benefit this program that's uplifting you and inspiring you to keep a snap in your Christian walk. So you know what Bill Oscar feels about reading. When you read to get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power, power, power. Uh, yes, it does. It comes power. So go visit OscarYorkPublishing.com and do it today and order you a book and read. Amen and amen. And now, our internet networks that we come on are these. You should download VFC. Lay, Joey Savan, Chrome Webview, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, .net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, uh, iHeartRadio, uh, I came with three, <laughs> iHeartRadio, uh, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcast, Castbox, Podcast Addict, Speaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Play or App Store and download Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, Chatting from the Word. And once you find us, put us in your favorite. And when we are on, you can be ready to hear a beautiful, beautiful program from here, from us here at Chatting from the Word. And you will not miss any episodes that we are casting out there for your listening pleasures. Amen. And a a man. Again, we are so delighted that you are listening, and we hope that you are enjoying that you are enjoying the program so far to this point. And here is our only selection for this. Uh, for this uh, program here today. This is Monday. I forgot to say this too uh, in the announcements. We are going to uh, be coming on today and tomorrow, and we are going to take off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but we'll be back on Saturday night with our musical editions, 
Saturday night. So we hope that you join us on that Saturday and join us tomorrow for the rest of the lesson that we are teaching today. And we hope that you do that. And here's our only song selection for the program today, which is Be Your Kingdom by Raging Harmony. Be your kingdom. And here they are. Your In harmony, feel your kingdom. And I love that song, I really do, because that's what we do in the body of Christ. We are building God's kingdom, our kingdom, our kingdom. Build your kingdom, build God's kingdom. And the reason why I love that song I play today is coincide with our message. Well, our message is our reasonable service. And uh, I believe we, we, we said in the beginning of the lesson, that we should, Paul said, that we should present our bodies for living sacrifice, which is our reasonable service, which is fair. And then we know at this point, he's talking about the body of Christ, because in in verse 4 of chapter 12, he says about the body. There's one body. All members not having the same office. So we then are not a one body in Christ, and that's the church, my friends. He's talking about the church. So today, 
And on the last time we, we spoke, we talked about the ministries. And that was last Friday. And what Brother Oscar wants to do this morning, he wants to go back and talk about the ministries. And I believe if you was listening to us Thursday or Friday, we said that the ministries is the most important thing in the body of Christ. We said without ministries, the church would not be able to grow or to function. And and we even went as far as to say when there is no ministries or if there's not the right ministries within the body of Christ or the local body of Christ, that body of Christ either stop growth or either die out. And, and, and when you look at growth, you can look at growth in so many ways that the church do grow. It can grow within or without. And what Brother Oscar means about that, you can grow in numbers, sure. You can grow in numbers. But are you within? Uh, that's without growing. If you got membership that you got 15, 20 members in another six months, you have a thousand members. That's growth in numbers. But growth within is when we all are learning God's will. And when we all are having a close relationship with the Father and with the Son. And that is growth within. And I've seen this many times, and I knew you, ha you have seen it too, that uh, many churches, are, even much today, are growing without. Uh, they may grow numbers, but what about the knowledge of Jesus Christ? What about your strength in Jesus Christ? What about uh, doing, living the righteous life in Jesus Christ. And, and to me, if you ask Brother Oscar, I'd rather grow in knowledge. I'd rather grow both ways if I was a part of the body. Of, and since I'm a part of the body of Christ, because the body does grow. When a baby's a baby, he's a baby. And that baby, he grows, he grows, he grows. So if that baby doesn't grow, his, if his, his growth is stopped, something ain't right there when that baby stops growing. So Brother Oscar feels this way about, about growth of the church. I believe it's necessary. And I believe both are necessary. But I rather, if, if I do uh, the church I'm in, uh, I'd rather have growth within than without. I'd rather have both, but if we can have one or the other, I'd rather that. Because if we have uh, knowledgeable people, you're doing your job in that way as well, leaders. If you have knowledgeable people are out there living for the Lord, showing the Lord Jesus in them, you have done your job. And then, when you do your job, and you do it correct, you're going to have growth because it's God that gives the increase. It's nothing we, we, it's nothing we, we, we've done to increase it. If we're doing his work, his will, teaching his work, he will give the increase. And that's where our faith should be, and not the fact that looking at the numbers, worrying about the numbers, or leave it up to the Lord to give us that increase. And if we're doing what's right, teaching what's right, and all the members are getting that all important snap in their Christian walk, you know what? You know what's going to happen? There'll be the light of the world. There shall Jesus Christ in them. And, and they went around people. They were asking, why are you so different? You ain't like everybody else. And that's when you can testify about Jesus Christ, my friends. You really, really can. And that's what I believe. And again, without ministries, a church will die one way or the other. And just because you can't see it dying, that doesn't mean it's not dying. Although, just because you don't see it, it's dead, that doesn't mean it's not dead. You understand what Brother Austin said? I, I know you do. I don't have to go into explaining completely all the details, but Brother Oscar feels like if you're going to have a good ministry in the body of Christ, and we mentioned this Friday too, you have to have the right leaders 
over those ministries because the wrong leader can also destroy the ministries and can destroy the church of Christ, the body of Christ, if you elect the wrong leadership. And we discussed that on Friday. We went to, uh, let me see, I believe we went to titles, titles. One, one through four, where Paul told Titus uh, to uh, get uh, to uh, set things in order and do what's needed in the church, and then he said he like elders, and then we went to I believe uh, uh, First Timothy, where Paul was telling Timothy about leadership and how to uh, select uh, elect leadership, and then we went to Acts six. But turn with me quickly to, I believe, uh, let's look at first, uh, I believe, first Timothy. I believe. <laughs> well, Oscar, he, 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 um, he has so much he wants to teach you. And, and at the same time, I want to be uh, teaching you what. Thus says the Lord, where everyone can understand what the word of the Lord is saying. And like I said, on Friday, we talked about how, how to select good leaders. And the first thing that, that Paul told Timothy when selecting a bishop, he's talking about a, a, the, who desired the office of the bishop, which is an elder. And he said that. First of all, a bishop then must be blameless, husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, not a striker, not greed, or fifty lucre, but patient, not a brother, not covetous, one that ruled well his own house, having his children a subject with all gravity. But the man know how not how to rule his own house. How shall he know how to do? I take care of God, church of God. You can't do it. And then he says something very important here. He's not a novice. And many of us, we, we want to get our friends in the body of Christ. And then we think they're the best people in the world. And then we want to put them up there so high, make them over so much. And, and my friends, when you do that, you give that person a big head and thinking he is somebody. And if you can remember our study in Romans, uh, our study with the Bible, where Paul said, sober-minded. So that person, if he's a novice, or she a novice, he's going to be, as Paul said, going to be lifted up with pride. With pride. And he will fall into, he will fall into the condemnation of the devil because he is young in the faith. And I remember when I was young in the faith, you know, some things I did not know, some things I had to learn, still learning, still going through my experiences, still learning how to uh, uh, care for Jesus Christ and how to deal with things that's happening with me because I can be more equipped to help those who are in the body of Christ. So that's what experience does. It helps you to learn. And we're going to get off into that, too, when we talk about waiting. We're going to get off in that, too. But we are talking about the leadership and the ministries. And I believe that the church today needs ministries. Because one thing that ministries does do, it helps us to live for Jesus Christ. Because, my friends, we first come to Christ. We come to him broken and in need of repairing. And in need of fixing. Like that song said, fix me, fix me. When we come to Christ, when we first come to Christ, and the Bible do say, come as you are. Come as you are. Your sins, your sins come as you are. And I'm like this, and I've learned over the years when a, when a person first obeyed the gospel, although their sins are washed away, 
but they still going to need some assistance, some help, and some ministering too. And that's when these ministries are in play here. You understand what we're saying here? If you don't have these ministries set up as it should be set up, that new convert is not going to learn as he should learn. I remember years ago, and uh, I don't think I'm the first one that came up with the new convert class, but the church, it was years, years ago. And, and the thought that I had, hey, we're baptizing all these people. What we need to do is set up a new convert class, a class of new converts, so that they may learn step by step A, B, and C when it comes to being a Christian. And I think some churches, if they don't have that set up, but well, it's new convert, they're going to lose them because they, what, what we must understand the church, once a, 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 a individual get baptized, become a Christian, the world is not going to leave them alone. To be honest with you, the world is more at their heels than anything now because they're a new, 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 new convert, they're a new Christian, and basically they still doesn't know uh, how to come back sin. So, of course, they're going to get back off into that sin that they just washed away, that God just washed away. They just came to Jesus, became a new, uh, a new cr uh, creature in Jesus Christ. And we in the church should play a vital part in that growth by setting up ministries that will help their growth in Jesus Christ. And that's why Brother Oscar says that ministries in the body of Christ, in the church of Christ, is not just important, but it's vital. Let me repeat that. Ministries in the body of Christ is not just important, but it is vital. And what we mean about vital, good ministries in the body of Christ is very very needful. All right, all right. We're going to leave you with that thought. I think it's getting good. And I hope you feel the same. But join us tomorrow. We're going to finish. We're going to talk some more about the ministries and why we need them, what they can do for our body. I'm talking about the body of Christ and what they can do for us individually in the body to help growth happen in the body of Christ. And we hope you still have the ears on. We hope that you heard the message, and you enjoyed the message. And if you do, send me a line or two. Send a message to my uh, email address. Please do that. I'll be waiting for your message at times. Okay? And a lot of them you do. A lot of you do. You do send me thumbs up, send me messages, especially on my leaking pages, my, my leaking people. They talk with me, and I do appreciate every one of them. I appreciate when you talk back to Brother Oscar. Uh, we do. All right, all right, all right. That's our program for today. And we hope that we put that all-important snap in your Christian walk today. We must say our goodbye. We hate to leave, but we must go. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which are in heaven. Will I be that name? Father, we thank you for this. Thank you for allowing us to bring this program on the air. We pray for those that are listening, Father. We pray that they keep their ears on and they uh, and they uh, uh, keep that snap in the Christian world. We pray for the Murray families, Father. We pray that you comfort their hearts and minds during their bereaved time, Father. And, Father, we pray that for the pandemic. We pray for, for us all that are going through it, Father. We pray that we can be patient and, and keep our hands in your hands and keep our faith in you. And now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen. And amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. I'm living at this moment because of you, and I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy. Right. Yo.
grave. No.